Hi there, Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor here. Today I'm going to talk to you about your design center appointment. What is it? What do you need to know? Uh, so first of all, what is it? It is the time when you're building a house and you get to go to that fun appointment where you get to pick out all the little design features for your house. Will you have one? Not everybody that builds a new home gets to have a design center appointment. So if you've purchased an inventory home, an inventory home is a home that the builder started without a buyer in mind. So it's already somewhere in the building process when you purchase it. It is fairly likely that the builders already picked the finishes. So in that case, you won't have a design center appointment. And more and more, um, I've noticed that builders are, instead of doing um, the option, that a la carte option where you get to go in and pick every little different thing for your home, more builders are offering packages. And so if that's the case, they may have the package options right there in the uh, sales office where the model is. And maybe that's, you just go pick which package you want to get. Um, or other builders, there are some builders that just only offer a few options. Yes, you can pick your cabinets, pick your flooring, uh, you know, separate of each other, but they have a limited number of options. And in that case, they may have the, those limited options within the sales office as well. But if you're in, um, purchased one of those homes where they allow that a la carte option where you get to go pick all those different things and there's almost seems like there's unlimited choices, that's you. You get to go to the design center appointment. The design center appointment usually happens within about 60 days of uh, signing the purchase agreement on your new home. They want to get those uh, options figured out quickly so they can get those ordered to make sure they're here by the time um, they're ready to install them. And also it's nice for you because, you know, one of the scary things about buying a new home is not knowing the final purchase price because you won't know that till you've picked everything for your house. So it's nice to know within a, you know, reasonable amount of time from signing the purchase agreement what your final price is for your home. So that's always nice too. Uh, the design center appointment, I bet you're not going to be surprised on this one, takes place at the builder's design center. So, uh, uh, the big builders in the Denver area that have um, that do offer the option to go to design center that most of them have I would say all of them actually have just one location throughout the Denver area so they'll let you know uh, where their design center is located so you know where to go and um, it will take place with a designer you will be assigned a designer and these designers are really great um, don't be nervous that they do this all the time this is what they're trained to do and they're really great at leading you through the process and giving you suggestions um, how long does it take how long does this appointment take so uh, one of two things so a lot of times I see builders break it up into two days because it can be um, a little bit stressful to pay, make all these decisions in one day. So sometimes you'll have a four, one four hour, hour appointment and then maybe a few days later or the next week, you'll have a second appointment to kind of finalize all your selections. Uh, but a lot of times how long it takes also depends on you. I personally built two homes and I was probably in and out both times in under two hours because I kind of knew what I wanted and it was like, pick, pick, pick. <laughs> okay. Some of that's just personality type, right? <laughs> so, so yeah, but that's what to expect um, on how long your appointment will take. All right, let's move into where are the best places to spend your money? Now, obviously, um, if you, you're not so budget conscious and you just want to go in and design the house exactly how you want to design it and don't care about price, this section may not be for you. Go have fun. <laughs> have a blast. But most people going to the design center do have a budget. And so let's break down um, what's, where you want to focus your money. First of all, spend your money on the big items that are difficult to change. So the two biggest items um, that I would say to focus your attention on and your money is um, flooring and cabinets. 
two items that are difficult to change, expensive to change, and this is likely where you will end up spending the most biggest chunk of your money at the design center. So um, yeah, I wouldn't skimp if you don't have to. Now when I say skimp, I don't mean you have to get the highest level of cabinet. And then, like I said, the designers are great. Um, you know, maybe you love this um, particular cabinet. Um, but it's really expensive. A lot of times they can give you options that kind of give you a similar look, but maybe a, you know, a less expensive uh, cabinet in an, you know, um, a lower grade. Um, the second place I would say is to spend your money after the flooring and the cabinets would be uh, countertops and tile. Um, again, Areas that, you know, aren't as easy to change, not that they're not changeable, but um, that would be the next place that I focus my money. I uh, do want to give you a little tip since I did mention countertops and tile, and oftentimes you, find that's, you usually find them in kitchens and bathrooms. When you're spending money on the countertops and tile, yes, like upgrade in the kitchen if you can and the primary bathroom. If you're on a budget, I would leave those secondary bathrooms mostly alone. Um, first of all, you as the homeowner, you don't spend much time in your secondary bathrooms, do you? <laughs> I have a bathroom upstairs in my house that every once in a while I have to just walk in there and make sure I flush the toilet every once in a while because like nobody goes in there. <laughs> so don't spend your money there. Not only that, um, for resale, it's, it's, you know, secondary bathrooms are definitely not as important as kitchen and primary bathrooms. So keep that in mind too. Okay. Lastly, on where to spend money, don't be dropping your dollars on like upgrading faucets or buying uh, light fixtures, upgrading light fixtures from the builder. They typically charge a lot more than you would pay at like buying a ceiling fan at Home Depot and having it installed or doing it yourself. So those are easy things to change out later, uh, inexpensive. So that's a place where you can save some money. And plus get more choices, you know? Um, yeah, they have good, great choices at the design center, but if you don't do any of that stuff and do it later, then your choices really open up and you can really personalize your house. And now, of course, you can get the, um, like the ceiling fan pre-wires put in, and that's usually a decision that's made um, before the design center appointment, like when you're doing your purchase agreement. But yeah, buy the fans yourself. Buy the light, great light fixtures yourself. Like I said, if budget means nothing to you, go ahead and do it. That way you can move right in and have no projects, but most of us are shopping on a budget. All right, the last little tidbit and tip I wanna give you is to prepare yourself for your design center meeting. And um, my best advice to do that is maybe, um, if you don't have a Pinterest account, start one and start, um, pinning looks that you like, colors, get an idea of the feel of how you want your home to look. What, what colors do you like? Um, what's the feel that, that you want to achieve when you're designing your house? And then it's great, you can take that to your appointment, show your designer kind of um, your home design personality and they can really um, you know, help direct you in that and give you some good ideas, so. Oh, I do want to mention too, you know, I do um, work with a lot of people on new buying new built homes. And as a realtor, I um, do try to attend pretty much all your meetings with the builder um, that I am able to attend. This is the one appointment that I usually do not attend. Um, it's just, it's so personal in choices. Most people can get through it without me. Uh, if it's a husband and wife shopping together, I don't want to be a tiebreaker. <laughs> but if, if we do work together on the purchase of your new built home, I am certainly willing to go if you want me there. I have gone, it's usually single people who just want a second opinion with them. Um, that's been my experience anyway, but uh, just letting you know that as well. 
So again, my name is Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. Uh, that's my spiel on the design center appointment with the builder. Um, like I said, I work with people all the time on the purchase of their new belt home. I've been through this process a lot. I'd love to walk with you um, by your side through the process. So if you're planning to buy a new built home, certainly give me a call. Let's chat. Let's see if we're a good fit to get work together. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any educational videos like this, market updates, and of course, home tours around the Denver area. Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.